So, hi, I'm Grace, and if you didn't already know, I moved to Sydney. You get to Sydney. I mean, I did before all this coronavirus thing happened. Anyway, I learned what it's like to live without six kids and two parents for the first time in 17 years. Morning. So, uh, I live in Sydney now. Uh, it's a bit weird. Uh, I'm currently in my apartment. My apartment, which is also really weird. This will be the first video as a Sydney chick. Yeah. Anyway, I'm like super excited um, to get started with everything. Today, I have a plan. I've got my resumes printed. I'm ready to go get a job. Um, I'm looking for something that's not hospitality, but I'll take hospitality anyway, because like it's a job, so it doesn't matter. I have to talk to a camera because I'm currently really lonely and my beautiful roommate Lou isn't coming till Saturday, so. <laughs> I've got to actually like start thinking about what I need to take with me like I need my keys if I forget my keys I'm locked out of my apartment I've got no one in here with a backup key like <laughs> no pressure I gotta make decisions for myself you know what do I want for dinner that's actually a really hard decision a grocery shop for myself but there's so many options like do I want pasta or salad obviously pasta because no one likes salad but healthiness like I got I haven't got my mum to tell me like that's I have to do that to myself and I find that weird genuinely anyway so the goal for today is to hand out at least 10 resume yes I'm gonna be side hustling with my videography and photography still because I can't let that go it's just it's everything. <laughs> I'm actually starting a new business. Let's go. So, I only handed out four resumes, even though I literally walked the entire perimeter of Sydney. I kid you not. I got lost about like three times I was like oh, where am I good old Google Maps saved me so thank God for that now I'm just hungry and sweaty um, I'm a bit stuck as to what I should be doing like a lot to edit and stuff but it just feels weird maybe I'll go for a, a run yeah I'll go for a run yeah I'll go for a run I want to book a ticket for a Valentine's Day screening of the notebook but I'll go on my own it'll be really cute might call Ella Tosh, because I miss her. Wow, great chat. Anyway, along came Valentine's Day, and yet again, I had no idea what to do with myself. Happy Valentine's Day. I haven't talked to a human being like face to face in the past three days and it's very weird. Sunlight that always stays, dinner by the waterway. It's that sweet life, raise your cross, made some do crack a smile. He asked if I could stay a while. I need to like talk here. People around here are so different to where I come from. Not only are red pea platers driving with multiple passengers, they're also driving in convertibles and Range Rovers and Teslas. I would not let my child drive my Range Rover. Just saying. I wouldn't let me drive a Range Rover because I'm so lonely. Like I'm sitting in the park right now by myself on Valentine's Day eating salad. Like, that's the epitome of loneliness. Did just book a ticket to go see The Notebook tonight. I'm going for a run. I'm living that high life. Time to catch a flight, but you can make me go. Unlocking all the memories of my new home. Back and forth, yeah. Caught some kids dancing in the alley. 
away Crazy how the melodies began to play, yeah Tell me how you feel it when you hear the lyric, yeah My heart's in Stockholm Now I never wanna go home I left my heart in Stockholm Now I never wanna go home So as expected, I was the only single person in the entire cinema. I must have looked real lonely because the security guard gave me free snacks. Security guard, if you're out there, thank you. Anyway, hopefully if I get back to Sydney eventually, things won't be so lonely. Said you brown yourself, let me offer help, come on inside.